LeBron James. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. The Los Angeles Lakers with the 55th pick in the second round have selected Bronny James out of USC. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, yes, yes. LeBron is going to be the first player ever, ever in NBA history to play with his son, bro. This is going to be dope. This is going to be dope. I ain't going to lie. This is going to be dope. And it's going to be like, imagine if LeBron retired and then Bronny takes over the Lakers. Gangsta, imagine that. Imagine if Bronny is a Laker for the next, for his first 10 years. Like, bro, that would be crazy, bro. That would be crazy. Right now, Bronny is not that. No, you feel me? He's not nothing special. So it's really, really great that he's on his father's team. Really, really great he's on his father's team. You feel me? Because I'm sure LeBron wants to develop him and LeBron wants him to grow. But LeBron also wants to win. LeBron wants to win right now. You feel me? So they can definitely win right now. They can definitely still win right now. Especially if they go out and get a Trey Young. Fingers crossed. Or to a lesser extent, a Chris Paul make some mid adjustments to the roster. The Lakers can still win it. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like the Lakers can still be a championship team. Um, them drafting Bronny is gonna. It says a lot, though. It says a lot. It says a lot. I can see nobody not trying to go play there now because I can see LeBron forcing them to play Bronny, even though he's not ready. He's clearly not ready. He's not even ready for regular basketball. He's not even. He's not nearly ready for. Playing as LeBron James' teammate. Like, he's not nearly ready for that. He's not ready for being LeBron James' son in the NBA. He's damn sure not ready yet for being LeBron James' teammate. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. You feel me? So, it's going to be a moment, though, but this is definitely going to be a, a fairy tale. I ain't going to lie. This is going to be a fairy tale. It's going to be a Hollywood story. A Hollywood story, bro. Gangsta. The dude retired with his son. Imagine if they win a championship. This is his last year. If they whatever happens, bro, LeBron might retire. I ain't gonna lie. This might be his last year. Whatever happens, if they win, if they get bounced the first round, if they get swept, whatever, he he might retire. It doesn't get nothing better than this playing with your son, other than winning a championship with your son. You feel me? But I like it. I ain't gonna lie. I like it. I know people are gonna hate it. People's gonna hate it. He's not. He's not a top ten Laker. You feel me? Bronny James not a top ten Laker. He's not. He should not be in a rotation. He should not be in a rotation whatsoever. You feel me? But we are gonna see what happens, bro. We are gonna see what happens. Not only this, but the Lakers now have a rookie head coach, JJ Redick. So LeBron got the Lakers to draft his son, and they got him to sign JJ Redick as a head coach. That's power. That's power. You feel me? That's power. That's definitely power. And they're trying to sign LeBron to a three year deal. A three-year deal. That's going to take him to what? Year 24? Like, if I'm the Lakers, I'm not nearly doing that. I'm not nearly doing that, bro. We gave you too much, bro. We're not about to sign you to a three-year deal also. Relax, bro. You're bugging out. You feel me? You're bugging out. Um, But J.J. Redick as the head coach, I like J.J. Redick a lot. I like him as a clipper. I like him as a magic. I like him as an analyst. You feel me? A commentator. Everything J.J. Redick do, I damn near like. You feel me? This is going to be a lose-lose situation for him. This is a lose-lose situation for Bronny and for J.J. Reddick. Because if J.J. Reddick plays Bronny James, he's going to get criticized. Because it's like, bro, you're not trying to win. You're just trying to listen to LeBron. If he doesn't play Bronny James, then it's like, bro, why aren't you listening to your star player? Why aren't you playing him? He Give him a chance. Give him a chance. You feel me? So it's like a lose-lose situation. I ain't going to lie. It's a lose-lose situation. We still don't know the team that the Lakers is going to have. You feel me? I don't think the Lakers is going to get super, super crazy. The Lakers is not about to get Chris Paul, Klay Thompson. They're not about to go out there and get nobody too crazy. You feel me? I hope the Lakers get a third star, though. We've tried the Lakers with getting nice role players. It got to the conference finals. You feel me? We think we want to ring with it in the bubble, but I fight the Lakers need a third star. They need a third star, bro. A third star. I don't know who it is. Trey Young, DeMar DeRozan, Jimmy Butler, Clay, whatever, whoever, they need a third star. The Lakers clearly need a third star. Clearly, clearly need a third star. You feel me? And sadly, that third star is not Bronny James. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like.
comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.